Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So new Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming out into the game as well as taking a look at the new tins. I actually have a little bit of a spoiler here, but I'm going to start off with the new card called the Artimate Slay. It's actually a pretty interesting card, but anyways, it's going to be a normal spell card. It's got a really awesome artwork on it, but normal spell card. And here is the effect of this card. It says, um, your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to the activation of this card. One, send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls with the same monster card type, Fusion, Synchro, Seize, Pendulum, or Link, and return that monster to the deck. So that's actually pretty powerful. I mean, obviously it's kind of like a version of Dark Ruler, but you're going to be able to send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. So that can be a huge extra advantage. There's lots of different archetypes. You can send in chests. You can send anything that can actually combo into other things. Maybe even some plays with Miracle Synchro Fusion will be a lot more common with this card. Now I'm curious to know, do you guys think this card will be really good? The unfortunate part though is it's not quick play. Yes, it's only one monster, then you have to target one. So a little bit more conditional on maybe when it'll be good versus Dark Ruler. You just activate it, whatever. Um, and then on top of that, you do kind of lose something, but again, more than likely you're gonna get advantage with this. Now, uh, going into, we still have more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I wanna go ahead and actually talk about the new 2022 tins. So first off, what's actually inside of these tins over here that talk a little bit about like the lid. I don't really care about the lid. It's a, it's a rimless lid, all right? But is it a, Yankee with no brim is the real question. So, uh, coming down to it, what's going to be in here? So, we're going to be getting blue eyes. Wow, red eyes too. Okay, no, they're actually alternate artwork. So, that's going to be kind of cool, to be honest. Like, uh, getting newer artworks of some of these classic cards are always great. But for competitive players, the things that actually matters, um, it's going to include seven new cards as well as all-time uh, great cards uh, from the years past. So, Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit, Ash Blossom. This card definitely another, another reprint. We have a reprint of Lightning Storm and Nibiru and Droplet and Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So, for those of you guys thinking that this card is going to be getting banned, I don't know because I don't think this is going to be coming out for a little bit of time here. So, uh, maybe this is just a hit that uh, Dragoon not going to be touched for a while. And then each set of it contains three extra large Mega Packs, one Prismatic uh, Secret Rare, two Ultras, two Supers, one Rare, and 12 Commons from a, a huge Mega set. So, we don't have the full uh, list yet. So, if you guys are new here and you do want to go ahead and see the rest of the list, when it does come out, I'll let you guys know. But wait! There's more. We still got new Yu-Gi-Oh cards to check out. I just wanted to go ahead and mention that because, uh, yeah, there's going to be new cards getting out. So another card coming in, Power of the Elements. We're actually getting Crawler support over here. So it's going to be a level 6 Earth Insect Effect Monster. Here is the artwork on this. Um, anyways, 2,000 attack, 2,500 defense points, level 6 Earth Insect. It says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first part of the effect is you can target one face-up monster on your field. Special summon this card from the hand and if you do change the target monster to face a uh, down defense position but for the rest of the turn the target monster cannot change its battle position the second effect is during your main phase you can reduce this card's level by two or four and if you do spell summon crawler monsters with different names whose total levels are equal to the levels reduced from your hand deck or graveyard in either face up defense position or face down defense position. Obviously, it's gonna be face down with crawlers more than likely, but that's actually a really interesting effect. Being able to just summon it is pretty easy considering it's level six. Um, they're not gonna be really tributing more than likely in crawlers. Um, but with this awesome effect over here, now I'm wondering if you can just also just use another card effect to actually still change that monster's effect. But if this effect over here was a quick effect where like you're doing your punisher and you just flip your thing face down, that would have been so cool if they allowed us to do that. But anyways, that's gonna go ahead and cover it for the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, guys, as well as the newer Yu-Gi-Oh news on the 2022 tens. Let me know, guys, your thoughts down below. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Enjoy the video, drop a like on it, and I'll see you guys in the next bit. I'm out. Peace.